We are going to be covering a lot in this video. Why and how we installed these plugins, why we think a battery maintainer is a good idea, and why we chose this one. We'll also show you an inexpensive way to monitor your battery through an app. And we're going to get started right now. Both of our adventure vehicles have dual battery systems to run things like refrigerators, lights, and a margarita blender when we're at camp. Unfortunately, we're not full-time travelers. So our vehicles sit for a couple of weeks, or in the case of the FJ, up to a month without starting the engine. Batteries are like humans. They need a little stimulation now and then to stay happy and healthy. Yeah, we probably shouldn't use that one. Young people might get creeped out hearing an old guy say something like that. But don't go away. We're going to get to these plugs and how we install them in about 30 seconds. This is a charger and maintainer we'll plug in to keep our expensive deep cell batteries healthy while our vehicles are just sitting. Once this brings the battery up to full voltage, it'll stop the charging cycle. Then it'll go into maintenance mode, sending out a pulse whenever it's needed. Keeping the battery topped off, at 95 to 100% of its capacity. Unlike a traditional charger, this one can stay plugged in without damaging the battery. We'll just plug it in when we get home and forget about it until the next time we use the vehicle. We'll talk more about why we chose this particular charger after we show you how we plug it in. Hooking up a solar panel or a trickle charger to your battery can be a hassle. First, you have to open the hood, then struggle to put these clamps on the terminals. We have a simple, inexpensive solution. Plugins right here. We did this on both of our Toyotas, but by watching this video, we're certain you can come up with an idea that'll work on your vehicle too. These are the parts we used. The ends have common SAE plugs. One is a normal one, and one is molded into a flange with a cover. On the FJ, we mounted them right here on the cowl grill. On the back side, we placed a disc we cut out of 16th inch plastic that we had laying around. With black oxide bolts capped off with stainless steel lock nuts. Then we passed the other end through a hole we drilled in this plastic piece. To connect the maintainer to the battery, we crimped on some ring terminals to the ends of another pair of wires with that same type of SAE plug. Same thing for the cords coming from our solar panel to our DC to DC charger. Now, if you come across a situation where the reds and blacks don't match up on either side of these plugs, you'll want to get one of these adapter plugs. This will make it right. Here on our Forerunner, we took advantage of these plastic moldings by the windshield to mount our plugs, one on each side. A little more about why we chose this particular charger. Batteries are finicky about how they're charged. Like a great quality DC to DC charger, this also goes through multiple phases during the charging cycle. Tailoring the charge like this will ensure the battery will always put out peak performance and be charged to full capacity. This helps your expensive AGM or lithium battery to live a long and happy life. It also has a unique reconditioning mode for safely restoring batteries that were drained down too far. This sends a pulsing voltage removing sulfates from the lead plates in the battery, restoring capacity. We'll put a link to all the technical specifications in the video description. The charger comes with two ways of connecting it to the battery, ring terminals and spring clamps. These are easily changed out with these nice couplings. Unfortunately, these don't match up to our SAE type plugs we already have mounted on our vehicles. So we need to take this harness cut off these ring terminals and splice on a short piece of wire that has our style plug on it. Now that's no big deal, we just want to make sure that we retain this inline fuse. Okay, now all that's left is to plug it in. But before we do that, I want to show you this Bluetooth battery monitor. These are important to have. You never want your AGM battery to get below 50% capacity. 
This causes damage, and if done too many times, eventually the battery won't hold a charge. It only costs like $50 to $60, and the app it uses is free. Hooking this up is as simple as red wire to the battery's positive and black wire to the negative. The app is relatively simple. It shows you exactly what you need to know, how much usable juice is left. We've produced detailed videos on how we installed our dual battery systems, including the outlet panels in the rear of the vehicles. We put links to them in the video description below. Before you leave, we hope you'll consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks for watching. Both of our adventure vehicles have a dual battery system. Refrigerator. On the underside, we used a disc we cut out of a piece of 16th inch platinum. Disc we cut out of a piece that we cut out of some. We placed a disc we cut plastic that we had laying around.